let us review the different components which make up this system and how these function. The rest of the trachea descends anterior to the esophagus until it bifurcates into the left and right primary bronchus. Anteriorly, the division takes place behind the sternal angle. Posteriorly, the division takes place at the level of the fourth thoracic vertebra. And oxygenated blood is returned to the heart via the left and right pulmonary veins. C3, C4 and C5. It descends the neck, then through the mediastinum to pierce the diaphragm to supply it from its inferior surface. Primary lymph nodes next to the bifurcation of the trachea, then into the bronchomediastinal lymph trunks. The right lung and left lower lobe drain into the right supraclavicular fossa. Have a look at your hands. How is that? It's all right. I'm just going to feel for your windpipe. Mediastinum towards the lesion. Pneumothorax pushes the mediastinal contents away from the lesion. Likewise, a large effusion. To locate the apex bit, we palpate in the fifth intercostal space in the mid-clavicular line. That is two, three. Assess whether the movement is symmetrical by looking how your thumbs move away from the midline. Okay, two breath in. And out. Collapse lung. If expansion is reduced bilaterally, then this may signify advanced lung fibrosis, severe airflow obstruction. Remember that the posterior thoracic wall mostly overlies the lower lobes, whilst the anterior thoracic wall press your finger firmly on the patient's chest in the intercostal spaces. The apices of the lungs are identified when percussing over the middle of the clavicles. Hyperresonance and tympani is found in asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Ask the patient to take a full breath, then fully exhale. Okay, deep breath in now, and out, and just hold your breath. Also, try to listen for the presence of added sounds and determine whether these are heard during inspiration or expiration. The expiratory part is longer than inspiration. Bronchial sounds are normally heard over the central airways and near the mediastinum.